Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered if we are truly alone in the universe? This question has been a cornerstone of human curiosity for centuries, sparking our interest in the cosmic theater. The universe, in its grandeur, is a stage of complexity and scale that is nearly impossible to comprehend. It is so vast, so infinite, that the human mind struggles to grasp its enormity. We are nestled in a tiny corner of the Milky Way, an unassuming galaxy among billions. Each of these galaxies is a whirlpool of stars, planets, and cosmic dust, swirling in the dark expanse of space. Now consider the sheer number of celestial bodies within these galaxies. It's estimated that there are around 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Each galaxy is home to around 100 billion stars, many of which are orbited by planets. The numbers are staggering, and they present a statistical argument that is hard to ignore. The concept of extraterrestrial life has always captivated us. From science fiction to scientific research we've been fascinated by the idea that life, as we know it or as we don't, could exist elsewhere. The variables are many, and the possibilities endless. The prospect of life beyond Earth is not merely a product of our imagination, it is a possibility supported by science. The ingredients for life as identified by scientists are not unique to our planet. They are scattered across the cosmos, hiding in the corners of the universe we are yet to explore. The search for extraterrestrial life is a journey of discovery and understanding. It is a quest that challenges our perception of life and existence, pushing us to explore the unknown, to seek answers to questions that have puzzled us for generations. The universe as we know, is a vast, complex entity, and our understanding of it continues to evolve. As we delve deeper into the cosmic abyss we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, inching closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone? Our pursuit to answer this question has led us to push the boundaries of exploration. The chronology of space exploration is a testament to our innate curiosity and unquenchable thirst for knowledge. The dawn of space exploration began in the mid-20th century when the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, in 1957. This significant event marked humanity's first step beyond the confines of our planet, propelling us into a new era of discovery. In 1961, the Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit the Earth, further expanding the horizons of our understanding. Fast forward to 1969, an unforgettable moment in space exploration history took place. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, astronauts from the United States, stepped onto the lunar surface making the phrase, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, resonate across the globe. Our journey didn't stop at the moon. Over the years we've sent numerous spacecraft to explore our neighboring planets. Mars has been of particular interest. The Viking missions in the 70s gave us the first detailed images of the Martian surface. More recently, rovers like Spirit, Opportunity and Curiosity have roamed the Red Planet, providing invaluable data about its geology and atmosphere. But our ambition extends beyond the borders of our solar system. The Voyager missions launched in the late 70s were designed to explore the outer planets. Today. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have left the heliosphere, entering interstellar space, carrying golden records that encapsulate the story of our world. Each achievement, from the first satellite to the latest Mars rover, has marked a significant milestone in our cosmic journey. We've come a long way, but the universe is vast and there's still so much to explore. Each step in space exploration brings us closer to answering the question, are we alone? How do we search for something when we don't even know what it might look like? That's the conundrum that scientists face as they hunt for life beyond Earth. The first method is the search for biosignatures, signs of life that might be detected remotely. These could be anything from oxygen or methane in a planet's atmosphere, to large-scale structures that could only have been created by living beings. But we have to be careful, as there are non-biological processes that can also produce these signs. For instance, let's consider our neighbor, Mars. We've been searching for water there because as far as we know, all life requires water. We've found evidence of liquid water in the past and even the present on Mars which is exciting, but it doesn't guarantee life. It just means the conditions could be right. Another method is to look for techno-signatures, signs of technology that indicate a civilization. These might be radio or laser emissions, large amounts of pollution or structures built by intelligent beings. The challenge here of course is that we're limited by our own understanding of technology and what's possible. Moving beyond our solar system, we're also studying exoplanets, 
planets that orbit stars outside of our solar system. We're particularly interested in those in the habitable zone, the area around a star where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist. We've found over 4,000 exoplanets to date, and a small but growing number of them seem to be in this habitable zone. The next step is to study their atmospheres for signs of life. But it's a challenging task. Even with our most powerful telescopes, these planets are little more than distant points of light. Despite these challenges, we keep searching. After all, the stakes are high. If we find even a single sign of life beyond Earth, it would fundamentally change how we see ourselves and our place in the universe. The search is painstaking, but the potential reward is immeasurable. In recent years, we've made some exciting discoveries that inch us closer to finding extraterrestrial life. One of these breakthroughs is the detection of potential signs of life on Venus. In 2020, scientists picked up phosphine, a gas associated with biological life in the Venusian atmosphere. This discovery has reignited the conversation about the possibility of life surviving in Venus's harsh conditions. However, Venus isn't the only planet making headlines. Mars, our neighboring red planet, has long been a subject of fascination. Recent missions have found evidence of water on Mars, both in the form of ice and salty liquid water. This discovery significantly boosts the chances of finding microbial life on Mars. Remember, where there's water, there's often life. Beyond our solar system, the discovery of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has opened up a whole new realm of possibilities. Some of these exoplanets reside in the Goldilocks zone, a region around a star where the conditions are just right, not too hot, not too cold, for liquid water to exist. This discovery is a game changer. It means there could potentially be millions, if not billions of planets out there that could support life. So, what does the future hold? Well, with advancements in technology and space exploration, the search for extraterrestrial life is only going to get more intense. Future missions aim to further explore Mars and Venus, delve deeper into the mysteries of exoplanets, and maybe even venture into the outer reaches of our solar system. New technologies are also on the horizon. Scientists are developing advanced telescopes that can analyze the atmospheres of distant exoplanets looking for signs of life. There's also the exciting prospect of using AI and machine learning to sift through the enormous amounts of data generated by these missions. Every discovery, every mission, brings us one step closer to answering the question that has plagued us for centuries. What would it mean if we do find life beyond Earth? This question has been a subject of contemplation and debate for centuries. The discovery of extraterrestrial life, whether microbial or advanced, would be nothing short of revolutionary. It would forever alter our understanding of life and its potential to exist elsewhere in the cosmos. From a scientific perspective, finding life beyond Earth would provide invaluable insights into the nature of life itself. It would validate the theory that life can take root in environments vastly different from our own. This could lead to a renaissance in the fields of astrobiology, astronomy, and other related disciplines, sparking a new era of exploration and discovery. Philosophically, the implications are equally profound. For millennia, humans have pondered their place in the cosmos, and the discovery of extraterrestrial life would force us to redefine our perspective. We would have to confront the reality that we are not alone and that we are part of a larger cosmic community. This could lead to a shift in our understanding of life's purpose and meaning, prompting us to reassess our values and beliefs. Societally, the impacts could be wide-ranging and unpredictable. The discovery could foster a sense of unity and shared destiny among humanity, inspiring us to work together towards common goals. On the other hand, it could also lead to conflict, as nations compete for resources or influence in this new cosmic frontier. Furthermore, the potential for future cooperation or conflict with extraterrestrial civilizations is a topic of immense significance. While it's impossible to predict the nature of these interactions, it's clear that such encounters would have far-reaching implications for our species and our future. The discovery of life beyond Earth would be a monumental moment, forever changing our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Whether it leads to a golden age of discovery or a period of profound introspection, the implications are as vast as the universe itself. As we continue our cosmic journey, the possibilities are as endless as they are exciting.